This video is proudly sponsored by Business Excel UK, supporting small and medium sized businesses and charities with business planning, strategy, and raising finance. What makes you different to the next person that might have just as many nines, eights, might have just as many top AS grades? I want you to imagine, and you're going to spend the whole day today imagining that you are a junior doctor. We have our first workshop here today, um, part of our STEM scholarship program, which we launched in September. The girls have um, had to do a whole application process to be a part of this program. We have had video applications, they've had to go through rigorous um, panel interviews, and so we're here today for our first workshop. Part of the um, program, we have the projects. So the girls have to do a year-long project on a subject of their choice. We have students doing projects on uh, donkey poo and diseases. Um, we have a, a radiation, we have recycling, we have the bones, everything you could possibly think of, so around STEM, so stuff from maths and science everywhere. Um, we, they also have to take part in workshops, so this is our first workshop here today, which is the Developer Doctor Live. Um, they are going to be cutting into lungs and hearts and brains and stuff. Not only does your body want to move, but so do your organs inside want to carry on moving at 17 miles an Operating Theatre Live is our school concept um, and it's an opportunity for students to get hands-on with anatomy. So uh, already we've looked at uh, what it's like for a career in uh, the NHS, we've looked at anaesthetics, we will be going on to the central nervous system, peripheral nervous system and we'll be matching up academic content with real life anatomy. So it's an opportunity for children to kind of get to feel it, to smell it, to see the anatomy. Um, it doesn't come with kind of little pretty ribbons or kind of bows attached to it, so it also gives them a realistic impression to can they manage to work within the NHS, can they deal with working with live anatomy um, as a career in the future. You can have all the intelligence in the world, but if you don't know how to communicate, if you don't know how to control, show a bit of empathy to your patients, you will be the worst doctor in the world. The third, fourth and fifth vertebrae, we are saying in the NHS, and that saying is, Three, four, and five keeps your diaphragm alive. Today I learned about the three, four, five vertebrae and how it controls the respiration system. We also have various workshops happening across the academic year, um, from launching a balloon up into space uh, to different types of maths workshops and stuff. So in there, they're very excited. They've all got their scrubs and hats on. It's all a part of the, the scholarship programme. Again, we have launched this academic year, so we've got 40 students that are part of the programme. And we also have 20 year 12 students that are potential doctors and nurses that are also taking part today. It's a really interesting experience. I think at the beginning of the day, I didn't know if I wanted to go into me any medical careers, but I think it's really opened up my options. I really liked it so far because it's very practical, we're learning new things and like we're, be we're in the situations, so we have to be practical about it. I think this is a great experience here at Coptal and it's definitely helped me broaden my knowledge and what I want to do within medicine. It's really nice that we've been given this opportunity from STEM and it really helps me like look at my future. Mm -hmm.